Hola, hola! Welcome back to the Maru Brothers. Dear Maru Brothers crew, I am Patrick. I'm usually the cameraman behind the camera, but thanks to you and your votes at the last video, I'll be doing the property tour today. And this beauty of a beast is from Bentley Marbella. It's a Bentega V8. It's a monster of a car and a beauty as well. So if you just have a quick look, because I just came and I just had a look at all the stitching and all the detail work. It is really, really nice. For a car this size, it has enough power as well. It's a V8, guys, and I love V8s. Sorry to Tesla fans, but I still prefer cars like that. <laughs> all right, behind me, I just made this transit very fast to actually the property tour. Behind me, you have the carport. You could easily fit two Bentegas here. Very nice front facade of the house with the entry and this metal construction on top. The only purpose is just to give the whole thing more of an artistic design when you come in. Picture windows just next to the door. On one side you have a patio, on the other side you have a patio. Big trees, again, also planted beneath to have a lot of greenery and nature. Here I want to thank Casa Fintech for allowing us to tour this property. We have here under 2,000 square meters of plot size, under 900 square meters of built space with five bedrooms, which we will now explore together. So let me take you onto this journey together. Let's go. Now you're all being welcomed into this house. Big pivoting door. On this side, you have a picture window, natural light, very big table here for your keys of the Bentega. We enter to this living room area. You have this very nice shelving with this unique wallpaper in the back. Give a lot of structure. I like the reset slides. So you see the details even more. Natural fireplace. We are the Marble Bros. We love natural fireplaces, don't we Dominic? For sure. For sure we do. And I actually really like how they put all the logs into the... The little niches back down yeah. there. Yes, on, exactly. That's amazing. It is amazing and it's very handy. You just grab here and throw it in. Very nice and big chandelier hanging. It's also in this rattan kind of material. I like it because it, it is very easy hanging. You know, it's nothing too heavy in this house. Double height ceilings, vaulted at the top. A lot of natural light coming through all the picture windows. I would like to talk about the first level up there. It is a working space, a little office. It's an eagle's nest. So whilst your life continues down here, you go up there and can work and take an eye on your children, for example. If your children are playing or doing the homeworks down in the living room, as a parent, you could be working from up there. I like the staircase, how it also has this open balustrade with this metal holdings here. It is a piece of art as well. You have a very big dining table for 10 people with solid wooden top. I like it. I like the wooden features in this house because it gives a little bit of warmth. If you go with a very modern style and a lot of white colors, it is very important to implement warmth with the whole uh, interior design. You see a little bar area here for breakfast. So when your mom or your father is cooking you something in the morning, you can check on your kids' homework if they have done it right. And one of them, I was one of them, always quickly doing the homework just before going to school. Patrick, you never did homework. I never I? did. I just, I just copied <laughs> everything of, uh, in the bus from- uh, Last minute from Jessica, if she still remembers. What do you think of Dear. the material used on the countertop here in the kitchen? It's, it's very cool. I like the countertop material. It is, uh, it's not a natural stone. Um, I had it written down. It's my first property tour. I forgot, I'm sorry, but it's amazing. I like the coloring. I like the structure. I like the feeling of it. And it goes very well with the wooden Paneling, the, no? Yeah, with the wooden paneling or behind the wooden cupboards. Countertop material also further continues here, which with another window which can be opened on both sides, which is really neat. Sockets right there. So if you have a coffee machine, a mixer here, which is a perfect niche for that, by the way, you have the sockets right there. Further on, cupboards all over the place. A lot of cupboard spaces. Soft closing, like always, is a standard nowadays. But what I like are these two huge fridges of Miele. They are massive. You open them, there's more than enough space for this whole household. You could probably fit twice as much as you need, to be honest. You have another one here. Nice illuminated Miele. This is big, you know? And then also the freezer down here. It's massive. You know, you could put down a body down here. That's I'm just kidding, no buddies. But I like it. It's very spacious. 
Further mean appliances here, which cannot be missing, is obviously an oven. This is a steamer. Oh no, sorry, my mistake, microwave. It's a microwave. I don't really use microwaves. Do you, Dominic? No. I have now an air fryer. That's apparently the new hype. I will try it out and tell you next time what I think about it. For now, it's very promising. For the cupboards, you know, cupboards all over the place. You can store whatever you need in here. This door leads to a little pantry and an exit or entry from the carport. So if you have any heavy things to carry in, yeah, you don't have to come in the light, unfortunately, doesn't work. But there's a door, so you can come in here. You can store some dry goods in the pantry. You close it, and that's it. For the new ones, I'm usually behind the camera, but I do have some experience being a real estate agent. Dominic and I, we used to do this back in the days, be real estate agents. What we had here is the living room area. We had the kitchen at the back, one little office space on the upper floor here in the... Um, living room area but the entrance right over there back here we have two bedrooms to be found on this floor with another two bedrooms upstairs with the master bedroom we have one bedroom in the basement where we also find a spa and a games room in a chill out area which we will then also show you of course we will not miss out anything in this property tour so if you just come with me first big Picture window again, so many picture windows here. But here, this one is looking down to a little patio, which you see in the needle shots, has this Bali kind of influence. It's a nice intersection between the games room and your spa area, covered as well, great little area. We will show this later. Other side, we also have a patio down here with a tree standing, which when we are downstairs, you will see why it is great, because you are in a basement, but you're not really in a basement, if you know what I mean, a lot of picture windows and windows, key thing. Hallway, staircase. So, one floor up, one floor down, but before, before we go anywhere, first bedroom on this floor. Let's go. Entering this bedroom, the first thing you notice is light. Again, you have a big window on one side, you have a smaller one on the other side, a lot of cupboard spaces throughout. And what I like about this one, I have to show this. Domi was like, no, show it, there's our stuff in there. But I have not seen this in the other one. Are these hangers here, which you can move out. So you, if you have your pants hanging here and you don't have to like scramble through all of them, you just slide it out, pick the right ones and good to go. This might be like 180, 190 maybe. Not really too wide. I like it big. I need the whole thing for myself. But again, throughout, very nice style. Very easy going, reset slides at the top, a lot of illumination, everything can be controlled through the panels by the entry door. So when we go further in here, first bathroom, I'm gonna show you, come in. Rain shower, a little hose as well for different parts, you know what I mean. We are here, finished with the first bedroom on this floor, which I've missed going in are two things. Number one, an elevator connecting all floors. And what can be not missing in such a big house is a guest bathroom. So we may just enter here. First thing, cupboards. Second, yeah, the toilet, right? I like how you have the uh, sensors with the lights. So they switch off when you leave, they switch on when you come. Everything is here. Again, guys, please notice window. Key thing, please don't do any guest bathrooms, especially guest bathrooms. You have a guest coming, he has to use the bathroom and then, you know, doesn't want to sting up the place. Guys, come on. All right, here, staircase, illuminated with two very big, long picture windows. But before we go up and down, there's one further bedroom on this floor. Let's check it out together, come on. You enter this place, picture window, cupboard spaces, and immediately right there is the bathroom. Let's go. Being in this bathroom, please notice the tiling. This one has another pattern and it gives this uniqueness to every single room. Big mirror, one sink vanity, same. Hanging very easily with this reset slides. Shelving, Oop. This one has an extra, which would be, in this case, a bathtub. The nice feature here as well are windows again, 
we keep it covered because of the sensor of the camera, but you can see big windows, a bathtub, a shower. That shower also is being tiled with the same tiling that you have seen on the wall back there. I'm two meters tall, currently weighing 120 kilos. I'm a big guy and there's more than enough space. That's, you know, so you get the dimensions of this place. Toilet, nothing more, let's go. Coming into the bedroom, big bedroom with a nice exit to the garden. It's the only bedroom on this floor which has an exit directly to the garden. So if you're a morning person who likes to go swimming, you just jump out of bed, whoop, right out, bang into the water, solid. Done, already a good deed in the morning. So, little niche here for your working. It's probably a good place for your makeup. So it could be a little bit makeup um, table here because it gives you a lot of light. I don't really like sitting with my back to the door, so I probably would switch it around. But in this case, when you switch it around, you have people staring from outside inwards and that doesn't work for me either. So, but nice for makeup, definitely. Big bed, a lot of cupboards. Again, I love how many cupboards they have placed in these uh, bedrooms. You know, it gives you all the possibilities. Lighting inside, so you see everything you have inside. You have these nice shelvings here for your socks, for your uh, underwear. Also with soft clothing, which cannot be missing in the modern homes. Reset slides, a lot of uh, dim dimmable lights for, you know, different atmospheres. Great if you want to have some, you know, it's a bedroom, come on guys, let's go outside. All right guys, we are finished with the second bedroom and sweet bedroom on this floor. Here's the big staircase with, like I said before, big, big picture windows. I like the, how the balustrade is out of glass. It, it just eases the whole thing a little bit. So let's go upstairs and see what we find upstairs. Okay, once we come up here, we have an elevator connecting all floors, like I mentioned before. So now we go to the first bedroom on this floor, which would be still not the master bedroom, but you are sharing the top level with the master bedroom in this bedroom here. Here again, very big picture windows. You have an exit to a small terrace on this side. You have a lot of cupboard spaces. You have a bathroom, like always. Let's come in here. All right. You see my brother in the reflection. He's usually a guy who's doing the property tours. Ah, this time it's me. I hope I do a good job. I'm kind of losing uh, breath sometimes with speaking so much. Tiling, different tiling. I like it in this one as well. You know, throughout, always a good style. A mirror, this time two sink vanity. We have some cupboards here, not cupboards, uh, drawers, and reset slides at the, to at the bottom, which makes the whole thing look very light. Toilet, shower, style throughout and do or do and do this we have a window one last thing cupboards again the same style but what i like about these rooms they are really big and to show you how big they are so the cupboard is open you put something on and look at this the doors are open and how much space there still is between the bed and the cupboards so you take something out you try it on you have more than enough space to you know, move and yeah, just feel your style. All right, on the end of this corridor, there's the master bedroom, so let's go. The elevator, a little storage room, because nowadays these houses all have servers, and that's where the server is inside. Crazy, a house with a server, whoever thought, right? You come in, first thing you're being greeted with is this big walk-in closet with a picture window, with natural light, which is important when you try on something, you want to see how it looks in daylight, not in under artificial light, daylight. So you try on your things, you stand right here, and then you have a look at yourself. And then you say, fits. Ah, look, I was mistaken. It's also a piece of equipment for the master bedroom. Very nice. Lights, and what cannot be missing, so your stuff doesn't get dusty, is these windows here, these doors, sliding doors. So they pocket and disappear, very nice. All right, 
So this way you would find the bedroom. But before we go there, master bedroom, uh, master bathroom. God, guys, come on. We have more space, more luxury, greater colors, because these tiles are golden. I mean, not real gold, just gold color, but it gives more this luxury feeling. You have the tabs, which are also in this bronze golden color, two vanity sinks here, some more shelving and reset slides. So this whole thing is very nice set in the center. That pillow on the floor, it's just, I have to just, you know, this is how you um, just chill and relax in your bathroom, right? Awesome. Big bathtub in the center here in this little niche with a picture window and two separate windows which you can open when you take a steaming shower. Behind me, you have a toilet. We don't have to walk in. It's a toilet, guys, come on. Nice sink, I mean vanity and shower. Scooch in with me, Dominic. So we have this nice looking tiles here. It's Polish, very big tiles. You know, they're massive. It's one piece here, you know? There's no division in between. It's one huge piece of the tile. Again, a hose. The so. fitting is actually from Axor, which is a really good company. Yes, indeed. Tommy, you know so much about real estate ah. and about products. How come? <laughs> All right, you have this Axon shower head here, you know, for some, you know, different singing, maybe, you never know. Rain shower, reset slides, little shelving here. Everything you have desires to take a great and amazing warm shower or a cold shower. Tommy, watch out, there's a pillow behind you. Now scooch out and we are going to the master bedroom. All righty, patatiti, gaiti, mighty. What makes it the master? You have your own terrace. What makes it the master? You're separated to the rest. We have the same little niche here, which we saw downstairs. That room doesn't have any cupboards. So therefore, there is more space towards that wall. Because if you remember, the bedroom below is mimicking this one above with one change that you don't have the cupboard, so you have more space that way. Reset slides, a nice, oh, I like this. I like the whole wall, actually. There's a little cushion here. And you, know, you have all the buttons close by. You have also, you know, your, ch your charging set up right here next to your bed. So if you have a ebook reader or whatever, you book, Kindle, Kindle. Uh, phones, tablets, yeah, guys, you know, everything that the youth is using nowadays, the young guys, which I'm just, I mean, young guys. My father, he uses it as well, so everyone, it's great stuff. All right, I'm talking too much, I'm talking too much. Here, we have all the controls by the walls for aircon and heating, all the little touches for the lights to dim it for some romantic time. Let's head outside to the terrace area. When, when the family members are out on the terrace downstairs, you can come here and greet them very loudly and tell them, the king is, has awoken. Come, greet the king or the queen. Let's go. Guys, let's show you the terrace and the garden area outside. Oh wait, wait a second. No, no, no. Before we actually go into the basement where we have the spa and the you know, chill out games room and so on. Okay, let's go. Let's take a risk. This house has just been finished and put on the market. The elevator probably has not been tested as much as it should be. All right, so we are here in the basement. So if you just turn the camera for a second, Dominic, this is the staircase, which we could have taken, but we were too lazy. You have a little niche here where you could probably put a plant or something with a nice illumination around. So when you just turn around here now, we have the elevator we came, First bedroom on this, and only bedroom on this floor, in the basement. Behind my brother is the spa, but I would say we start with the bedroom and leave the best for the end, okay? Let's go. So you come in. The first thing you notice, a window. Am I in the basement? Yes, you are, but you have natural lights, thanks to the patios, which are surrounding the rooms downstairs. You will see even more. So you come in here, a lot of cupboards, you have a whole, wall full of cupboards. So there's more than enough space to store all your goods. You have a very big king-sized bed, and a different wallpaper, nice um, bed, how you call this bed frame? 
nice bed frame. You know, and look at this, like just it's one after another. Yeah. This bedroom. One after another. A lot of light as well, like in all. I mean, the, the style just is throughout the same. You know, you have all the lights, the recessed lights, you have the cupboards, you have the nice wallpaper. Everything is uh, individually made with a different style. Like here, for example, you have the tiling, which is more horizontal themed. And then Axon tabs in this one. It is silver, like a dark silver. Yeah. Big mirror, recess lights here, one sink, toilet. And then also here, the, the shower, you just scooch in here. I like how it feels. You feel very uh, like enclosed, but comfy. Rain shower, recess light, illuminating the structure very nicely here. Again, shower, uh, hose, all your uh, little gadgets right by the entry, so you can, you can switch on and put on the heater or the aircon, whatever floats your boat, if you want to take it. where the toilet is, uh -huh. I'm kind of missing that. Toilet? Yeah, because, you know, how much can you talk about the toilet? It's, it's, you know, you open it, you close it, you do your stuff, you push the button, it flashes, it's a glass window, which I don't understand. Glass door. Glass door. Why a glass door? It's like, I would feel like in a fish tank, people observing me while I do my business. Not for me. There are these, these um, windows you can push a button and they go like dark. Yeah, you know? and they taint. Exactly. That would be great for here. Like one button, ten, taint it. All right. Let's continue, guys. We have more to show. Boom. I just got informed by my brother I'm talking too much, so I will just talk less, which is difficult because I'm really hyped up. I had like two Red Bulls to make sure that I can actually talk for the whole tour. Come on. We go through in here. We have the spa area. And this is what I like. You come into uh, this house, if, if it's this a holiday home, you come to relax and you maybe don't want to go to a spa outside, so you have a spa in-house. And it offers everything. It offers a hammam, it offers a sauna, a little hubbly bubbly whirlpool right there. And for people who follow us know exactly that my brother likes the hammams, I like the saunas. And this sauna, it's, I mean also the hammam, but this sauna is so big, you could fit six people in there. You and all the girls. Mm, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Maybe you and you, all your friends. Let's put it this way. You have a nice sink. Very cool how this is just standing here with a big mirror at the back. And when you scooch through here with me, Dominic, on one, two, and three, you have a big shower. And that shower, again, is big, en yeah, it's big enough to shower with all your friends which could be all female, I'm just being open. Uh, lights, rain shower, everything you need. One thing is missing though. You, you probably have seen this in, in the spa, so these ice buckets, which are hanging off the, off the wall. We just kind of stand underneath and just pull a chain and it just drops the cold water on top of you. That's missing in here. Especially when after the sauna, you're like, Poof. amazing. All right, let's scooch out again, boom, and we have to go outside. Ah, wait a second. Have I mentioned there's a bathroom here? You did bathroom, not. Bathroom, shot, done. Cupboard spaces, for what? For your bathrobe, your swimming trunks. Little sitting arrangement here, which you could probably also turn around so you speak to the person who was in the whirlpool. And we are going out to the patio, which I have mentioned at the beginning of the tour with this little body kind of fusion going on. All right. Ugh. Easy, super easy going. I mean, I, I just made it look very difficult, but you know, it is very nicely sliding. All right, and now stepping outside. What I love is the wooden deck here, kept naturally. It's a very nice brown color. We have plantations on our right. We have plantations on our left. The greenery helps you to calm down. Apparently the human can recognize the most different colors in, in the green tone than any other, if you get what I mean, right? For sure. And it's very relaxing. Probably so that's from the hunter and gatherer. Yeah, it is. It's helpful also to take walks through the, for the forest and the greenery because it calms you down. All right, let's continue. We have the picture windows. We, we actually saw down to this uh, patio from up there. You look down and what you notice first is it's covered. Half of it is covered which is great because if it is a rainy day, 
You can still come out here with your, wall, with your uh, bathrobe after the sauna and after taking a, a cold shower. You lay down and then you just hear how the rain is, is dropping down the leaves uh, on, the, on the plants here. And you can just, you know, close your eyes and relax. And in summer, it provides shade. So it's a win-win thing. On the other side, you find the games room and the TV room. We will go there, but we will turn back first. But before we do, the, those scones are super cool. Scones? Right you me. mean the lights here? Yeah, the yes. scones. True. Because it gives a very direct light onto the wall upwards, but through this little spoon-like invention here, it kind of reflects the light off and, and beams it smoothly and widely on the floor. So we will see it at night. It's very cool, very neat, very nice. Perfect, cool. I'm missing this in my house. I, by the way, have this new huge rack by Watson. I have a full gym now at home, <laughs> guys. I'm, I probably have to well, post. Well, something that's actually missing here, right, Patrick? A gym, definitely. I love gyms. Dominic as well. I will actually post a picture of the gym rack or maybe in a story. I put it in a story after this video is being released so you guys can see where Patrick and Dominic is training. So follow us on Instagram and check out the new rack I have in my garage standing. It's awesome, I tell you, it's amazing. So big picture window here looking towards the patio with the greenery where we just have been. On the other side, another picture window with a uh, nice tree standing there. You have also a water cascade at the back and you know it, it illuminates everything all the passages ways here all the rooms are nice and bright so let's scoot further in because this is this is where the games room is let's go boom i, I hope you liked it in the diesel shots now you get to see it with me in the frame first thing this pool table here what i like about this pool table because usually the pool tables always are green they, the fabric on top is green. This one has a nice khaki color, which goes very nice with the rest of the colors in this room. And I have to follow a tradition my brother has set up. I did it once as well in one of the houses, but Dominic usually is the one who is having the pleasure to break the balls. But this time it's me, I will break the balls. And please check out the last property duo we did. My brother actually failed to break the balls. So let's see how, how, how strong I am. I just talked about gym equipment and hence me training a lot. But, okay, I'm not a pool player, so we'll see, all right? So what, what ball has to go in, Dominic? All of them. Solid ones or half ones? Half. Okay, let's see. Are you ready? And tension. Oh. Yeah, Patrick didn't get one ball then. Well, I broke them quite nice, I must say. But what do you mean, no, no in? Look, look at this. Solid ones. Number one, solid, yes. Thank you very much. But still, guys, like and subscribe, because this is our bread and butter, guys. So, further on, nice little bi area here. What I like about this bi area is these colors that I have been using throughout this room here. And this one has this, how did you, the koi, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it the Japanese like the koi fish pattern, I would scalps say. Scalps of yeah, the fish. From, exactly. Yeah, koi fish which is great, which works very nice with the wallpaper in the back of this uh, cupboards here, which is a little bit of a jungle theme going on here. Unfortunately, these are empty, but if you just think about it, wait a second, I just go over here, take the champagne bottle. If you put it back here, there's this nice reset light at the back, illuminating your, your beverages. Great thing, really nice. We have a bar, little bar stool area here. So when you have friends, playing, you can chill here, enjoy your cocktail. And, you know, always somebody back here mixing, one is playing, looking outside in this nice patio there. And further on, big seating arrangement here. It even looks so cozy. Look at these pillows. Don't you think the pillows look really comfortable? Very inviting. Like some people don't like soft sofas, but I want to fall into the sofa. I want to be like sucked in into the sofa. Unfortunately here what we are missing is a TV, but the good thing is maybe it's missing a TV here, but you can choose between a TV, a big, I mean a very big one, it has more than enough space, or a beamer. I, to be honest, I nowadays I would probably consider a beamer because the beamers really did a huge advancement. 
in technology and you can get 4K beamers, crazy. Here, another thing, all this detail work we see in this basement is nice, especially here with this wooden paneling and the wallpaper. It's a piece of art. This is the eye for detail. This is what I love so much. We are not finished yet, so we go further here. We have a little niche. The niche can be filled up with whatever your heart desires. Maybe basically. a rack. Maybe a gym rack, yeah. Maybe, I mean, a gym rack nowadays is more than enough efficient. You, you do squats, you do your rows, your chin-ups, everything. So when we come here, behind me, we will have the entrance, a separate entrance, at the far back, we have a garage, we have a laundry room, and what cannot be missing? Toilet. Spoiler. It's a toilet, guys. Yes, deal shots of the toilet, done, and we go further on. Let's go. Here's a door separating the rest, so it's nice and quiet. Whenever somebody comes, you just close it. You don't hear anything, so people can work in the laundry room. Big and spacious laundry room, which makes this laundry room special, are uh, a couple of things. First, a window. Why a window is so good in the laundry room? Because everyone who has done already some ironing and washing knows that these machines produce heat. And when you iron, it produces also a lot of heat and humidity. Opening that window helps a ton. So, great job with having a window here. Further on, good lightning, a uh, lightning, good light. So when you do something, it is more like natural light, so the colors are uh, the way they're supposed to and not disturbed. Furthermore, covered spaces for your chemicals and the stuff you need to keep a house like this clean, you know, it's quite big. You have a nice sink here, like a nice uh, countertop here. I like these little <laughs> laundry wagons, you know, pretty neat. All right, further on, machinery room, and this one, Oof, long door. Security door, big machinery room. It's, it always surprises me how organized they are. I mean, yes, it is a new house. It probably looks different after 10 years, but now perfect, colored. So here you have all the water running through that hints the black color. On the other side, you have the heating going on, all the pumps, water pumps and boilers. Great thing here as well, a window. So. When it gets really hot in here, pop it open, especially for the workers who come to fix something. You know, they don't have to sweat too much. A little description of the interior here. What is what? Very neat, I have to say, cool thing. All right, guys. So now we scooch back out and we go to the garage. A very big and spacious garage, I would say, at least for free cars. So you see the um, concrete plasters here. So it will be one, two, free and also nice lighting helps to illuminate your car nicely uh, when you have a fancy car like a porsche or a ferrari you know you see all the little details on it all right this is just a garage so i will not go too much into detail here so thank you very much and i would say we pull out and go upstairs to the terrace come dominic let's go come let's go i meet you i meet you there dominic Dude, how do you do this? So fast and witty and karate. Whoa, ninja. All right, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy we are finishing this off now because I am out of breath and it's not my element, but I hope I did a good job. All right, let's scooch back up and see the terrace. See you upstairs. You take the left foot? No. Take it. Okay. Take it. You're out of breath, you see, you see how easy I'm being convinced? Okay. Yep. A nice elevator ride. It's a cool thing. Very chilling. So let's go through here. Let's make this uh, great. <laughs> no, make, make this. Let's make the property tours great again. Where is this from? Okay, I'm sorry. Probably people have heard it from Trump. I'm making it for the real estate. Property tour is great again. Big windows opening up here, coming out to your little terrace area. On the left and the right, you see sofa arrangements, plus the first income outside dining table for the experience in the summer. You have these massive tiles here, which are actually not connected with each, with each other. They're left a little gap in between. So when it rains, the water can actually go down in between the 
the tiles and disappear and run out to the garden and leave the tiles nice and dry so you don't get any puddles, you know what I mean? That swimming pool is 75 square meters big, has this nice green tiling, looks very refreshing, has a nice view out to the golf course, which are behind these trees, the whole tree line there. It's also a cover for you from dragons and monsters. And <laughs> but all right, jokes aside, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. I was nominated by you guys to do this property tour. I hope I did a good job and it was fun. And I have a good idea there. I said and twice, but the good idea is we have more members in the team. One of them is our mascot. You see the picture of him right there? Yes, it's my dog, little Spitz. Oh, so cute little thing. Which you rescued. Which I rescued from AAA. Because all our dogs are rescue dogs. This beauty, I cannot even believe somebody actually gave him away. But if you want to see him in the next property tour, joining us. I mean, he cannot do the property tour, but he will join us as a, as a mascot. Leave it in the comment section below and we will make it happen for you guys. So thank you very much. Thank, thank you for this uh, beautiful tour, Dominic. And don't do this again to me. All right, guys. All right, guys. Over and out. out. And now I just maybe take the camera and show my brother for a second. You know, so he's in the picture as well. Dominic. My hand is literally... I can't feel it anymore from holding the camera. But anyways, guys, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up and yeah, tune in for our next property tour over and out. Peace, ciao.